Hello everyone into my channel everything ps, with umd. In this today tutorial, we will continue with the DaVinci Resolve 16 course. We will go in deep with the Trim Edit Mode tool, Transitions Effects, and Keyframes. Now, let's get started. Drag any video and put it on the timeline. I will cut this part I don't need it. I cut it by the shortcut Ctrl plus B. And select this part and hit backspace from the keyboard. Then put another two videos on the timeline to see how this tool works. This tool you can use it when you are working inside a large project and you want to remove a specific frame from a video in the middle of two other videos, all you have to do is go and select the trim edit mode or press T on the keyboard. Then go to the video in the middle and click on it and drag the video to the right or the left as needed while you are holding and dragging. These four screens here will appear. The one in the bottom left is the video before the video you are on. The bottom right is the video after the one you are on. The top left is the beginning of the video you are on and the top right is the end of the video you are on. But this will happen while putting the trim edit mode in the middle of the video, but what will happen if I do this at the edge of the video? Notice that it will trim from the video from one side. Now, try to do this by the selection mode tool. Notice that it will make a gap between the videos. To remove this gap you have to select it and hit backspace from the keyboard. Now, let's move to another point. Go up here to Effects Library and open it. Here inside the toolbox, you will find Video Transitions, Audio Transition, Titles, Generators, Effects, Open FX, Audio FX, and Fairlight FX. Now, we will talk about the Video Transitions and Audio Transitions. First, for Audio Transitions, there are only three effects Crossfade plus three decibels, Crossfade minus three decibels, and Crossfade zero decibels. They are easy to use. Now let's move to video transitions. To use a video transition you can't put it on a video like here. You have to put it in between two videos like here. The first way to put a transition is to drag the transition and drop it between the videos. Now, notice the transition effect. The transition is cross dissolve. Then, if you want to control the transition select it and go to the upper right and open the inspector panel. Here the transition parameter the first one is the duration you can control how long the transition to be you can make it long or short. Or you can control its duration by changing the value of frames. Or by holding the edge of the transition by the mouse and move it as you want to make it long or short. Also, you can control the alignment. Change it to start on edit or end to edit, or you can keep it on center on edit. And from a video transition style, you can change the transition to the one you want directly from here. You don't need to go here to the effects library to drag and drop the transition effect. Let's choose another transition effect. Like this one here called hard. See the result. Cool effect. Now if you return back to the inspector panel and go down a little bit you will see the name of the transition effect you are using. And here there are many parameters here you can control them to custom the transition. Like color. Border. Offset to center feather, ease, and transition curve. Play with these parameters until you get a good result. Now, let's move to another point. If you go here on the timeline and put the mouse on the video you will notice this little slider. What is the use of this slider? This little slider if you want to make a fade on your video without any transition effect you can use it. All you have to do is just hold this little slider with the mouse and move it, like that. Cool, isn't it? You can do it on all videos on the timeline. It is a nice trick I liked it. Now, we will talk about the keyframes and how it works. First, let's delete these two videos here we won't need them. As we said before, any parameter has this icon this means you can add motion to this parameter. Take this as a rule for using a keyframe. To add motion to any parameter all you have to do is first put the playhead at the place that you want to start the motion, then hit on this keyframe icon. For me, I will add motion to the position, and I will start it from the beginning of the video. Put a keyframe, then move the playhead to the place that you want to end the motion on it. Now, change the value of your parameter to the value you want. Like I am doing with the position. Now, let's see the result. But if you didn't like the duration of the motion. What should you do? You go to the keyframe properties on the timeline, from this little icon here one click on it. This track will open, notice here there are two keyframes we have made. 
but you should know that the second keyframe the program added automatically when you change the value of the position. Now, you can move the keyframe as needed. Just hold it by the mouse and move it, easy just like that. Notice that when the two keyframes are closed the motion will be fast. And if they are away from each other, the motion will be slow. As you can see. Now, if you want more control of the keyframe go here to this little icon and open it. It will open this graph here. These are our two keyframes, you can move them as needed. And if you go up here and click on this little icon here. This will give you more control over the curve you can make it more smooth. By holding this handle here and moving it as you want. Now, if you look here you will find this icon like the keyframe, through it you can add keyframes as needed. Also, you can add a keyframe by holding alt from the keyboard and one left click by the mouse. As you can see it add keyframes in the place you click on it. This is the result. Now, you can see the name of the parameter you are working on. If you open this arrow here you will find all parameters. You can add motion to any parameter of them from here without going to the inspector panel. Let's try to work with the opacity. Notice that the name on the track is changed to opacity. Now, you can add a keyframe at any place on the video. Add one here, then move the playhead and add another one. Now change the value of the second keyframe like this. Notice that the value you are changing you can see it from here. You can get more control over the curve by select any icon of these icons here. Let's delete these keyframes here from the position. To see the result of the opacity. Select the keyframe and hit delete or backspace from the keyboard. Notice that the opacity is decreasing. This is the final result. Now, you can reset any changes you have done from this icon here. Just go to the parameter that you want to reset it and click on this icon reset. This will remove all keyframes you have added to this parameter. Here we go we are done. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.